you better believe this makes me so incredibly happy. Oh, wait. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. We are nearing the end of April, which means spring has officially sprung. Okay, well, maybe not quite here in Canada uh, because I think we only really have two seasons and that's winter and summer. But this is not in collaboration with them, but there is an account on Instagram and they are local to us here in Calgary. They are called Go Clean Co. And they have blown up on social media for this home cleaning service. And they have so many tips and tricks and cleaning guides. And honestly, there's like things that pop up on their stories that I have never even thought I needed to clean or have made me question whether I'm an adult at all and honestly they're just an amazing account to follow I will link their Instagram down in the description below but they started a spring cleaning challenge and it's a free guide that you can order and it lists out all your weeks for you week one two three I think there's six I think it's six weeks total um, and so one week you're focusing on bathrooms, one week you're focusing on bedrooms. And so it's obviously spring cleaning too, so there's decluttering involved. They tell you how to go about doing it. And then I also went the extra mile and I bought their cleaning checklist. But there will literally be a page and it'll tell you like, okay, you have to clean your oven. And you can check it all off, like clean the fridge, take everything out of the fridge. Um, vacuum inside all the drawers, wipe down the cabinets, like all of it. It goes through basically what they, their checklist that they use when they go to clean a home. And the goal is to one day have them clean my home because they are so thorough. They go above and beyond any cleaning service that I've ever had or seen. So I decided to hop on the bandwagon and do the spring cleaning challenge. I am someone that thrives off of organization and tidiness. I wouldn't say I'm the most clean person ever. Um, people often think because I'm so organized and tidy that my house is clean and that is not the case. So I'm really excited to do this challenge and to just like feel better in my home. I'm a little behind in the challenge so I'm not going to totally follow their week by week thing because it started a few weeks back. But I'm going to do it as I see fit. I'm solo parenting pretty much right now, um, which makes it a little bit difficult to get things done. So like they suggest, it's doing like little bits at a time. So like I have three bathrooms, so you do one bathroom a day, right? Make it really reasonable. So this week, and I'm going to film it all and show you guys, how I go through and organize this stuff. Um, so week one, I am doing my kitchen. This kitchen is like the heart of the home and I normally keep it really, really clean and tidy and I've definitely let it get the best of me lately. So <laughs> you can see uh, all the takeout we've had in the last week. So we're gonna be cleaning it throughout the week. Again, I'm not gonna do it all in one go because that would be impossible with a kid but tonight what we're gonna do is we are going to clean the fridge I just went grocery shopping I didn't do a huge grocery haul um, so my fridge is still kind of empty but it's empty enough that it's a good time for me to empty it all out clean inside and do that so that's what we're gonna do and start with tonight okay so Jace is finally in bed so I'm going to start by taking everything out of the fridge portion. considered 
it's pretty clean. There's a few, you know, spills, but uh, not half bad. Okay, now I'm going to make Go Clean Clothes Holy Grail mixture. Powdered Tide and hot water. Okay, now that that is wiped clean, I'm gonna start putting some stuff back in, and I'm actually going to use the Tide mixture uh, to clean some of my inserts. You can see they're pretty dirty. Um, so kind of I'll organize as I go. When I am filling these containers up with new stuff, um, I take them out of the package. So I just got some yogurt tubes today. And then I find the expiry date somewhere. Okay, um, May 4th. And then what I do is I take a dry erase marker and on the back, of the container, I write May 4th, and we are going hardcore and bougie here. So I put them towards the front so that it looks like it's full even though it's not, and all the labels are facing the exact same way. but I'm wearing the exact same clothes because we've just been hanging out at home and I've been putting this off all day, but today I want to start going through uh, the drawers. Maybe I'll hit the top cabinets too if Jace lets me. He's just outside, literally playing in his underwear right now. <laughs> uh, so we'll see how this goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything out of the drawers. I'm going to start with this section here and then I'm going to clean out the drawers and then I actually am going to go through which is the main part of the process is purging so getting rid of everything you don't need I would say my kitchen is not super cluttered um but you know I do have a lot of water bottles I'll show you the before actually I just I just washed a bunch so we have a bunch here but this is the drawer that like gets the messiest and I really don't like. Um, so there's a couple like bottles that Jace just doesn't use. Like he doesn't use this one. He doesn't use this Spider-Man one. This Halloween one is cute, but like he never uses it. Um, so we're going to go through these like... This wow cup is so great when kids are learning how to drink out of a cup, but he's older now and he doesn't need this. So get rid of a few things. Everything else is like pretty organized, like our drawer, but um, you know, specifically bottom drawer down here needs to be vacuumed out. And these, yeah, these drawers are a little bit dirty this is, these like I don't even have um the I can't remember what it's called it's one of like the bullet things like a bullet blender I don't even have the bullet blender anymore because I switched to the Nutribullet which is bigger cups is, is this an, this is the Nutribullet cup I think maybe maybe it's not actually no, yeah, like, <laughs> like my bullet broke, but yet I still have all my bullet attachments. So that can all just go in the garbage, and then this drawer will be a lot <laughs> emptier. Maybe I can put some other things.
things in there um, that's taking up space in the pantry or whatever. Again, drawers are pretty organized, I would say, for a kitchen. Like the baking drawer is a bit of a mess. But everything else is pretty good. So we're just going to take everything out, vacuum inside, wipe down inside, and uh, just declutter a few things, which should be a fairly simple job. So I have these stands to keep my plates organized, but they still, but they still slide around in the drawer. Now you can see that there are scratches, which the Tide um, mixture that I'm going to use might take that off. Okay, this is hard to do with a kid, but so the Tide might take those off. And then I bought. <laughs> these easy liners and I'm gonna put these in my drawers um, and we'll see how that looks but I think I need to like cut it so so it says like fill like a large bucket with water and like not to overthink it so then we're just gonna do a teaspoon of Tide And that is the finished drawer. One drawer down, a lot more to go. What thing is not like the others? <laughs> Should I get rid of this just because it doesn't make me happy? <laughs> you okay? Honestly, really tempted. I do use this all the time. Um, so if I got rid of this, I would probably have to replace it or just clean my other ones more often. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of it. You're probably thinking that I'm a psycho, but if it doesn't make you happy, then get rid of it. This is a, my newest addition to the collection. It is so cute. You better believe this makes me so incredibly happy. Oh wait, I have to hide something. Okay, <laughs> I'll show you what that is in a second. But the reveal. Da, da, da. Look at that drawer. Got the mats in there. That took me a long time actually to just do those uh, six drawers. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do the rest of the kitchen drawers and I think we're gonna try to get um up here again like super organized already which is great I don't have a lot that I need to get rid of but we're it's spring cleaning so we gotta go and we gotta clean all these out and I'm actually working on a spice drawer so that probably will not get done in this video because I want this video to go up um, next week once the kitchen is done. But I'm putting in a spice drawer here. I gotta go to Ikea and buy it. But I already have the drawer front and then I think I probably need to get a handle. And then I'm going to create the spice drawer of my dreams and put all of these into the same containers and the same labels. And I'm really excited for that. But
look how cute these are. I made these myself. I painted them. Um, this one. Mr. Right. Mrs. Always Right. And one day, I will give this to my husband. If I ever get a husband. So now that that side is completely done, completely wiped down, those have been cleaned, we can move on. So I'm going to start, uh, Bow Clean Co. talks about starting high and low and left to right. So that's kind of what we're doing. I'm going to do the hood fan. Now, I don't even know what I cooked. Actually, I think it was my boyfriend cooked something that was really greasy. Let me see if you can see it on camera. So you can kind of see all that grease mark and it is like so sticky. It's nasty. Um, so in Go Clean Co's thing, like the book, um, I think they said for grease, like for this area, to use Mr. Clean. And I thought I had Mr. Clean and apparently I ran out. Um, and obviously I can't go get some. So... What I'm gonna do is my own little mixture, and this is how I actually clean my countertops because they're quartz, um, and this just makes it super easy. I fill up a spray bottle with water and Dawn dish soap, and obviously this is great for washing dishes and greasy dishes. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna spray it, I got a new cloth, and we're gonna wipe it down, and we're gonna see how that works, and then once it's dry, I will go in with my stainless steel cleaner. Okay, got a new clean cloth and we have the Wyman stainless steel cleaner and polish. Um, I have usually used in the past these and they come in wipe form um I don't know sometimes they leave like residue like fluffy residue so I think this is gonna work better and this is what go clean co suggests now these they say to run through the dishwasher um, no, these are like super clean. Okay, cue another cloth. Windex is what they say to use on these um, space, or on like black stove to make it not look streaky. And these burners are kind of gross. I need to brush up how to clean these burners, but in the sink so I'm not gonna lie to you I'm cheating on the stove grill things um, I can't remember off the top of my head but seriously go follow clean go clean co they will tell you everything you need to know but you can see Soak these um, in a bathtub, and that's the best way to clean them. Now, again, my stove is not that old, and they're not that dirty, so I'm just using that this mixture again, and I'm just thoroughly wiping them down, and I'm happy with that. Okay, then I'm gonna clean my oven. Honestly, here, I'm going to show you guys. Not that dirty. So I'm feeling pretty good about myself. So I got this easy off fume free and wasn't expecting this, but spray in cold oven, um, closed door, wait one hour and 15 minutes for the foam to penetrate. 
oven soils. So this is going to be a process. I sprayed that easy off stuff into my oven and it did not come as easily clean as I had hoped. So now I'm putting it in the self cleaning mode. I've never used it before. I don't know what it does. I don't know how it works. But it's like four and a half hours of high, high heat, I think. Uh, so that's running right now, and I have the fan running because Mommy, supposedly can it can get really stinky. Mommy. So we are finishing up now just the island to do. So I still am doing the drawers, but I wanted to get um, the microwave cleaned. So what I've done is I've put in just this cup, this mug, um, some water and a couple glugs of vinegar, which that's exactly how they describe it, a couple glugs. So then I'm gonna put it in the microwave and then I'm going to turn it on for five minutes. And that is supposed to clean inside. I'll show you like how dirty it is. I cleaned it not that long ago, so it's not terrible, but um, okay, five minutes and let's see how that goes. Okay, man, that stinks. Okay, I'm gonna grab this. Assuming it's hot. I'm just gonna take some paper towel. Then I'm going to take this stainless steel spray and the garbage is definitely the nastiest part of the clean. Take this out. The bin could use to be cleaned out, but specifically down there. never cleaned my dishwasher before so I just twisted this thing to take it out ew that's disgusting